Assalamu alaikum. Well, to get started, let's first come to our pubspec.yml file. Make sure that you have installed this plugin, which is called a CSV. And at the same time, for the assets, make sure that down there we have this section where you have a reference to the CSV file. Now, the CSV file itself is like this. Where to store this? Well, now if we take a look at our project, so inside this assets folder, we have this mycsv.csv. Now the file or data like CSV formats, you can get from the website or from the link below. Anyway, so after that, we'll get started. Now, the first thing we have over here, a stateless class, and then we have a stateful class. Now, inside this, first we'll declare a variable. So here is our variable, which is called underscore data. Now, in this data variable, we'll load our data from CSV file. Now, the type itself is list list dynamic. Why list list? You can see from here that over here, in each line, we have three sections. So each line would be treated as list. So we have many list, and we'll put everything inside a big list. So the list dynamic over here refers to each line over here and then this list refers to all the data over here now after that we need to create a mechanism for loading data now over here we created a function which is called load csv as you can see now inside this we are using root bundle to load the assets as a string and then we put it in a variable and then we have this convenient function which is called convert which is coming from csv to list converter now this is coming from the package csv package we have installed well make sure at the top you import this csv pack so internally it will take care and load all the data in this format and then it will save the data in this variable since we are loading and there is a state of change so we use the set state function and update this variable which would help the ui to be updated and after that inside this scaffold in the body section section will have floating action button and over here we'll have this on pressed event which refers to load csv now we'll go ahead and run our app and of course this is what we see nothing is there but it has been loaded since it's loaded we want to show it in the body section in the body section we'll show all the data in list view builder so we go through the data length and then we check for the first one because remember first one actually is the headline so we want to use a different color for that so that's why we check the index and after that all the data we show it in a list tile now we access each of them using 0 1 2 because each little list refers to this line and each of them starts with 0 index index 1 and index 2 now we'll go ahead and run our app so now we're going to click on this and we'll see that the data has been loaded from the csv file okay so that's how you load data from the csv file thank you